You might remember uh, last week, P. No, I'm not really. I do drink quite heavily. But, um, yeah, don't you just. Yeah. We, uh, we started our sort of weekly advice segment. Dear Bedside? Yeah, yeah that, did. that name is stemmed from obviously the email address. Dearbedside at gmail.com. That, that email address again? It's dearbedside at gmail.com. And um, oh, I dropped my ring on the floor. You silly little man. I was just wondering if we'd had any, uh, any uh, correspondence, correspondence this week. Correspondence, I'll check the mailbag. I mean, because I'm not logged in because I've been pretty snowed under in the office. You've been snowed under, have you? Yeah. Oh, no. How's that worked out for you? Have you been able to get out yet? No, not yet. Really? <laughs> you still? I've sent a pigeon out for help, so... Yeah, yeah. That's all we could do, isn't it? Right. Really? little note sewn into his back. Yes. Oh, that's not how you... I had a sewing kit on me, so... Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Make good use of it. Um, we have got an email. Oh! Do you want me to read it out? Well, that's our jobs. We are trained counsellors. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I have a degree in counsel. Masters from Hosea Masters University. From, in... Japan. Tokyo, yeah. I've got one from Grimsby University as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously we both have. So. Yeah, no one needs to even look that up because no, we have you know, class we of class, class of my way. Yeah, class of. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Hey bedside. I hi there. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I don't know if you'll actually read this, but here goes. Well, we are reading it. Yeah. So. You're, you're in luck. Yeah. Well done. Wow. Lucky. So I think my fiance is cheating on me. Oh no. Oh. She has been acting weird for the past month or so, staying late for work a lot and not really talking to me very much. There's this guy, let's call him Dan, who yeah. she works with, and he always flirts with her whenever he's with her, so I suspected him. A few days ago I went onto my fiance's Facebook messages in brackets I know I shouldn't have. Yeah, you should. <laughs> talking about yeah. question. And read her messages to Dan. It turns out they talk to each other a lot and he's pretty suggestive. She Ooh. seems to flirt with him too, and they talk a lot about meeting up after work, which proves that she's been lying about staying late at her job to get projects done, etc., and she's actually just been seeing Dan all along. I think this is pretty strong evidence that she is fucking him. So how do I... Hang bring... on. What? Do you just drop the F-bomb? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll need to re- send a response eventually saying, please don't do that again. Okay. I'll let, I'll let her know. Or her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a man. So, how do I bring this up to her without letting her know that I read her FB Facebook messages? Facebook, yeah. Or should I just let her know? I have a feeling that if she finds out, I will be made out as the bad guy and she'll have something to use against me in the argument. Thanks for helping, Anonymous Australia. Oh, right. Anonymous. Well, obviously, he has access to her FB account. He or she, Anon. Yeah. So, so there's either there's a degree of trust there, yeah. or he's already, or he's a hacker like a computer spy. Oh, that's yeah, why he's be anonymous. A yes. Wow. So he's yeah, a yeah. hacker. Oh, you know, anonymous the, the hacker group. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's, that's yeah, it. probably would be, wouldn't it? Wow. Cool. They're not from Australia, but they would lie so that we don't think it's their throat off the scent. That is, oh, that's really good. Bet, you know what? I bet it's from like Florida or something or LA. Crazy. Something like that. That's wild. The internet's a crazy place. Yeah. I would suggest, though, yeah. as he has access and is a very computer good computer hacker, hacker, yeah. Yeah, hacker. he should Jewish. probably like tell. That we reviewed. Carry yeah. On. Probably tell Dan. Yeah. That uh, she's pregnant. Okay. What through Facebook? Yeah. She's right, I'm pregnant. Yeah. And that'll probably ward him off, or he'll be like, "Yeah, our baby," and then he'll know for a fact. What I think that you should do. Yeah. Because, right, let me pose a question to you. Yeah. Who has more game in the story, Dan or Anonymous? Dan. Dan every day of the week. Clearly, because he's getting the puss and Anonymous. Well, is getting the married puss as well, which is that yeah, extra yeah, layer, yeah. that extra lock you've got to pick. So I don't really want to offend Dan. I mean, not Dan. I do. I, Anon. Obviously, I don't want to offend Dan. But I don't want to, Dan's where I go. But I don't want to offend Anon. Yeah. Because he, you know, took time to email. But. His game might be lacking. Yeah, I, I almost side with Dan here because he's getting the. Uh... Well, that's the thing, is it? When you see a dying flower, yeah, it's your duty as a human being to nurture it, to nurture feed it, it. To health. be that with water or semen. Yeah. So or just you know water. That's no, or just semen. <laughs> well, and that's I'm, all Dan's yeah. doing. Yeah, I yeah, pose yeah. the question: Does Dan even know about a non? He probably. You know what? 
Probably not. Because with a name like Anon, you sort of blend in a lot, don't you? Mm. You don't really stand out quite a I mean, oh, I don't really like Anon. Sounds a bit Hindu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm throw it's that an out Indian there. name. It's definitely an Indian name. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you sort of that way. It's south southern of us. Asia. Yeah. South of Grimsby, definitely. South of Grimsby, oh god yeah. It's probably, you know, Sri Lankan or something. I'm not a big Shall we give advice to Dan instead? Yeah. Because he I'm um, rooting for Dan. Dan, at this point, he needs to realise that he's got a foot in the door. Yeah, Dan, you, Maybe you go for it. Maybe half a leg in that door. Is, is, what I he needs to do now is he needs to shift through. with the hip, budge that door right open and get the second leg right in there. Put a shoulder and arm in as well. Yeah. Reach around the corner and make your presence known. Turn the light switch on. Turn it on, turn it off. Off and on Anything, again. off and on again. Lightning, you know. The, so the inhabitants know you're there. Yeah. And that you ain't going away. And then knock and say, pizza... Yeah. Because then they'll, they'll think, oh, it's pizza. It's pizza. I didn't order, didn't order pizza, but free pizza. <laughs> right. And then I'll go to the door and you'll come in and, uh, what's her name? Fiance. And you'll, you'll be able to just have sex with Fiance oh, yeah. over and over what and over again. What the fuck was that? I think my. Uh, Is that Fiance? I think that might be Fiance. Put her on loud. Uh, Put her on loud speaker. What would you like to do? Um, fiance? I was just saying, Fiance. Um, right. Okay, Dan has game. Right. What? She agrees, yeah. Dan has game. Okay. Oh, it's just it's, it's playing. Well, fiance, Dan. shush. Was that Dan? Yeah, that was Dan. Can you hang up? Because they're yeah. not complying. I want to go back to Anon now because I'm pissed off. Right, Anon's back. Right, Anon, we're, we're giving you advice now. Fuck Dan because he's got poor phone etiquette and frankly so is fiance. What you want to do is leave both of them. I know you're attached. I know you're attached to Dan. Mm. You're probably even attached to fiance a little bit as well. Cut all strings, cut all ties. I've got a plan. Go. He needs this is it's a bit risky on his part. Yeah. But he needs I'm, to I'm he right, needs okay. to contract herpes. Yeah. Genital. Wherever. Yeah. And then give it to her really bad. Okay. Maybe in the bum as well. In, and and yeah. not tell her. And then right. leave her and then get cleared of herpes because he knows he's got it. You can't yeah. Well, you can't get rid of it, yeah. but you can make it so your penis isn't all disgusting. You can you, you can buy creams. Yeah, so do buy that, cream. and Zavirax. then get with other ladies. Giving them herpes as well? No. Because his herpes will have gone away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he could do that. I mean, even if... He doesn't really have to get rid of his herpes, because it doesn't really matter if he gives other people herpes anyway, because he's already got it. Yeah. He can't really lose from that situation. Yeah. Idea. Where's he going to get herpes from then? Um, oh, that's a good point. Tramps. Tramps, yeah, homeless. Yeah, the homeless probably definitely have herpes. herpes them. At least one of them. Probably, probably. Most yeah. Probably most have you ever had sex with the homeless though? Uh, Uncoordinated. Uh, yeah. Difficulty staying around. Lack of spatial awareness of spatial is what it is. Because they're always drunk. I don't they're, they're always drunk and out in the open. Yeah, they so don't know no idea how to be intimate with a person. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good observation. Yeah, they don't they don't really know. And they're distant. Personal space, and they're very distant. They're very quiet and very sort of reserved. Yeah, I don't really like them. So what I'm going to say, and on, I like your idea, you have his idea. Yeah, but I think go one step further. Find Dan. Yeah. Right. Attack Dan. Attack. Right. Attack him. Because you, your suggestion that he attacks fiance by yeah. giving a. Sexually uh, transmit diseases. I think they should cut Dan's penis with a lot of knives or that's a clever. saw, you know, yeah. scissors, whatever, while he's asleep, and then he'll wake up the following morning and be like, oh, what? Yeah, I, swear I, had, I swear I had a penis on. But he, he, he'll just sort of... He won't, say, he won't tell anyone because he's embarrassed. Yeah. And then Anon is going to be able to talk to fiancé and say, yeah. oh, how's it going? How's, it, how's your, how's your co-worker Dan your friend doing? Dan, yeah. And she's going to be, oh, well, it's all right, but he's lost his penis. And she's like, oh, no, really? He's not. Yeah. And then Dan, Dan, not Dan from the office. Not Dan, big dick Dan. Yeah. And Dan's going to walk by and be all shy and ginger because he's lost his penis and he doesn't want to tell anyone. And he's going to look the fool and Anon is going to get right with fiancé. Yeah. And finally, he's going to be able to have sex with fiancé. And they and shall wed. To live. They shall wed. Well, maybe, oh, no. I don't Definitely advocate not. marriage. That's a terrible no, idea. It's, it's stupid. Because then you're tied to one woman. Yeah, and then, if, unless you sign a prenup, then you don't have to give her stuff if you 
get rid of her and she's not dead. Yeah. Oh, sure. The best relationship for me mm. is where I'm just never not cheating. You just always have to be yeah. cheating, you know. And domestic abuse is quite, quite good. Because otherwise it's boring, isn't it? So it gets very monotonous. Monotonous, you know, stale, stagnant. No one wants that for a relationship. No. When the spark's gone... If the spark's gone, what feeds yeah, it back yeah. into her and fuck other women and men. Other, clowns. Yeah, clown, clown yeah, clowns. Whatever, 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 whatever gets the spark you, back. Whatever gets you going. So my advice to an on, don't marry her. Cut off. Cut off down to Maybe be a bit violent towards yeah. fiance. Or at least know distant. She, just be like, distant, oh, you know, right. mean. Yeah, just definitely just mean. Grumpy and mean. Yeah, call her names. Grumpy. Call her names. Say she's not cooking very well anymore. Yeah. Say her sister's looking better than she is. Tell her she's got a, a very open vagina. Yeah. Uh, cavernous. Cavernous. It doesn't really work on you anymore. Yeah, you, you have the sides in. Yes. Just, just, just mention in passing that her face looks swollen. Yeah. Don't say it as an insult. Just say, oh, your face looks a bit swollen. No, <laughs> You've been out in the garden. Oh, yeah, you've been, you've been, your face is looking a bit ugly and stung. Just say that, and yeah. she, it's like a backhanded compliment. That's, we call it in the industry. We call it negging. Oh, that's it's clever. a negative compliment, yeah. and that it endears women to you. So you know you you'll just be in a bar or whatever, and you'll say to her, "Oh, you look a bit ugly and disgusting when you smell." And they'll be like, "Oh, wow, he must be into me." And yeah. then you know, obviously, it's more complicated than that, but it works. Yeah, so. ba- that's the basics, isn't it? So, that's the basics. But, so uh, do that. Be distant. Dan will have no dick and sort of shrivel and die. No dick, shrivel and die, neg, distant, beat, cheat, fiancé, don't marry her. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? That's your eight bullet points That's to right. success. Eight bullet points. Good write that as a book. Note that down. We can do that. Good. Oh, I googled it. Oh, Doesn't matter. Yeah. I remember it. I remember it. Can we listen back to this recording in anyway? Ooh, yeah, we'll be able to find it on tfcpodcast.com and youtube.com and youtube.com forward slash tfcpodcast. Also, you, you could uh, you probably have to download it via iTunes or maybe Stitcher Just on the go. Search for the uh, Bedside Chronicles on both of those. Yeah, an Android user. Yeah, subscribe mm. rate. Oh, I'll figure it out. You know, you always do, um, don't you? Yeah, it's interesting that it just came up organically and it just mm. came naturally. I wasn't even thinking of uh, a natural thing that came up. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have mentioned it. Unless it but, came up naturally, which yeah, but you do did. subscribe because yeah. you know it just came up be a waste of conversation. So, you know. anyway, so that was dear bedside. If you Good have luck a problem, email dearbedside at gmail.com and uh, we'll sort it out for you. 